Hi and welcome to this presentation of Superstamps Monsters. Superstamps Monsters is the first creation kit for Snagit and other graphic applications. In this video I will show you some examples of what you can do with Superstamps Monsters. With this software you can dra just drag and drop elements into the Snagit editor to create your unique and professional looking images. For example you can add effects to photos, create avatars and emoticons and much much more. The elements in Superstamps Monsters was created by a professional artist. All elements are transparent. There are 138 Superstamps included in 7 categories including monsters, emoticons, eyes, mouth, accessories and more. All elements are in vector PNG format which means they are resizable and they are in very high quality. They are well organized and you can use them directly from inside Snagit or other graphic applications. A PDF document is including showing all the elements. Okay, so let's take a look at what you can do with photographs. So, let's see if we can have some fun with photos. Here's a photo I took of my son on a recent vacation and as my son loves pirates, I thought I'd make him out to be a pirate. Uh, so I'm here in the special items folder and let's pick some pirate stuff. An eye patch should do for my little pirate there it's slightly big so I just adjust the size like that what more does a pirate have you gotta have a score right so we put out the score I hate to score my son but this is for the the purpose of demonstration that's too it's also a little big so I'm just gonna decrease the size and then it should of course be behind the eye patch so we mark the eye patch and we order it send and to front and what do we put on the pirate more uh, clown nose that that's not right no that doesn't work out let's remove that one and let's see tattoo no he's not allowed to have tattoos either but a gold chain that could go place it a little bit like there seems the size is good and any pirate must have a beard, right? Beard and earrings. Let's pick the earrings. And there we have one for the right ear. And the one for the... Now you see that was marked, so it switched. But that worked kind of well anyways. Put it there and... No, that doesn't work. Take the other one there. We can hang out like that. Okay, and a beard. Finally, we go to hair and hats, and find a little mustache, a black mustache for my little black pirate. There we go. The pirate's done. Okay, so let's create a little monster as well. We are in the Snagit editor and I thought to create a uh, little monster and perhaps an uh, emoticon for you. So we're starting with a transparent background and maybe we drag it out a little bit, create a little bigger one and we go to Super Monsters, the Monsters folder and look at what we have here. And we have the little chocolatey monster. Let's do the chocolate ghost something like that in size and let's give him a friend so we go to the emoticons should we choose a yellow one like a smiley and we place him there you can see there's a little shadow and a lot of fine details in these images so let's go to the eyes I usually like to start with the eyes the chocolate monster let's find suitable eyes for him something like this perhaps you can see here when I have on transparent that you don't see the details and when I drag it over you have and depend on what you have for background because these are partially transparent so they they give an effect a sense of depth depend on what uh, area you put them on so those look good perhaps a little big so something like that and let the little smiley now I clicked on that one so it moved here so I gotta click outside and I go to eyes and let the smiley look up at his friend 
like that and then we go from eyes to mouth and the emoticon mm, he is a happy guy or a very happy guy perhaps big smile or laugh on him and he he needs some red cheeks I think so you see I click outside so otherwise I end up changing the um, the actual you could experiment with different images but it affects depend on their size too so they don't look exactly like they will come out so you have to click outside to choose something new and, and there we have them click outside and paste them maybe they're a little bit too red so you can adjust the opacity of them by going to opacity drag them down and you will see the effect directly on the image so there we're satisfied with that one now the opacity will hold for the next so when we paste a new item it will also be having opacity so we have to drag it up there like that but it's a little too scary for my taste so let's give him just a little teeth or perhaps let's give him a little smile there we go uh, you can also use the shadows when you're working uh, normally it's best to have the shadow off since these have shadows but if you want to add some extra depth you can always experiment with the shadows and let's see what we have more let's go to hair and hats and give him a chocolate colored mustache there and uh, well, the little guy should have a unicorn horn perhaps so we go use the little arrow to get to them uh, we go to special items and take the magical unicorn horn and we place it and there you see it has a lot of effects but you don't see them really on the transparent background so I go out I choose the bucket and here I can choose colors and I can choose the transparent actually if I want to make something transparent all these preset colors let's put an orange background and there you go image is finished okay I hope you enjoy this presentation of super stamps and uh, monsters thank you